time flies like the wind, and you're in love, and it's a beautiful thing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how you doing out there today? It's yet another episode of the one and the only The Last Talk Show. We're doing a how-to episodes today, and it's very exciting because I'm ready for you to analyze the culture with me. So, before we dive into discussing what matters, I'm going to ask that you subscribe to our YouTube. What are you doing, man? What are you doing, you bloody bloke? Subscribe to our YouTube, mate. And remember, that's only a matter of time. <laughs> That's your boy Jason, man. What are you doing? That's your boy Jason. Stay there. I threw a little Sean Connery in there. I couldn't do it too good. What? Oh, that does sound kind of good. But anyway, subscribe to our YouTube, please. Help us grow, thrive, and succeed. Please, I don't want Richard Schwartz to try and cancel me again. So please, please, as we keep this ball rolling into season two, make sure to subscribe. This how-to is very effective. Another Love Talks type how to date. How to date. I'm going to keep it short, sweet, simple, to the point. How to date. Because dating helps grow the relationship. I don't know how many people just hop right in without dating. You know, they just hop right into marriage, hop right into chilling, hop right into 40 years of marriage. No, you got to date. Give me a little time to get to know this brother, get to know this sister. Let's date. How to date. Let's go to the first step. First step, first step. Who's ready for the first step? Be phony. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What a John, how could you say that, John? You're, you're so dumb, John. Your show sucks, John. You, you, you're not even funny, John. Stop being phony and be honest. No, no. Be phony. <laughs> be phony. For real. For real. Be phony. So you're out on the date. You see all the food. In a, you see all the food in his teeth and her teeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But be phony. Oh, baby, how, how do I look? Just tap. Tell him you look, tell him you look good. Oh, you, you look good. If you really like the person, now, now don't lead somebody on all this time because, oh, you, know, you just don't want to be nice and then you just break up with them. Finally. No, no, no. If you really like this person, you, there's got to be a tinge of phoniness. Of course, the iconic, the iconic lady getting ready in the mirror, oh, babe, how do I look? What does the guy say 99.9% .9 of the time if he wants to sleep in the be same bed that night? You look good, honey. You look good. You've got to. You've got to. If you don't want to sleep on the couch, if you don't want to go downstairs in the basement cold shivering with a, with a blankie, you've got to be phony. You've got to be phony. And that's the thing. Don't take, it, don't take the negative connotation of phony. There's a good side to being phony. There's a good side. Even the good Lord Christ Jesus himself, keep a great attitude. Be, be joyous. Be kind. So even when you don't feel like it, can, can I get an amen? Even when you don't feel like it, still do it. So when you're on that date, even if she don't, even if he, she don't look good, even if you don't want to pay, be phony, pay, be nice, do good. Am I, am I wrong? Am I wrong? No. Ain't nothing wrong with a little phony here and there. But if you're really sick of the person, don't lead them on. Do not lead them on. The next one. Next up, how to date. Russell Stover's chocolate. Okay, and why do I say Russell Stover's? Why do I say C's Godiva, some of the more expensive brands? Because, because you want to test it and see if it's really uh, worth it. You don't, you don't start off on the mountaintop. You don't, for first date, you don't go to Ruth's Chris. First date, no, you should do Mickey D's, man. Start it off, start it from the bottom, now we here. That's Drake, now, now I know you love Drake. Start from the bottom, okay? So you gotta start off basic, start off with Russell Stover's. Start off with that basic chocolate, and if you see the relationship, you know, y'all, your phoniness is actually turning into the truth, then you can upgrade to the C's and Godiva and the, the quality chocolate imported from Mother Russia, okay? But start off basic. Start off with cheap Russell Stover's. You get a box of 12 decadent, delicious, man, somewhat delicious chocolate. Man, not too delicious, but $5, man. $5 not breaking your bank, okay? Russell Stover's. That's how you date. That's how you date. The next one, pranks. Full pranks on your partner. Yeah, yeah, man, I'm serious. I'm serious. When you're dating, uh, the pranks can help. You want to see how that person reacts, am I right? You want to see, it's because if you marry, you, you locked in, even though a lot of y'all fools and demons be cheating. Don't cheat. Watch, watch the how-to on how to cheat on your partner so you know not to cheat. Don't cheat, but, 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 
Y'all will get started with these pranks. So pull, pull a prank, for example, and say, uh, you know, you, you're cheating on your girl. Act, act like you're doing something you shouldn't be. And then see how this person reacts. And then if they react, like, oh, I hate you, I'm going to kill you, and they stab you, then it's, oh, man, look at how they reacted to me cheating on I mean, I shouldn't have cheated. Maybe I shouldn't have pulled this prank, but she didn't have it. He, she didn't have to react like that. You know, you know what I'm saying? Pull pranks. Pull pranks, even if it's not a cheating prank, pull up with a roach on the floor. How does your partner react to a roach on the floor? Do they start tearing the whole house down? Or do they simply say, this thing is 84 times smaller than me, reference to uh, episode one of season two. This thing is 85, 84 times smaller than me. I can just step on it and my life is better. The problem is solved. Or do they then tear the whole house down, burn the whole house down? Oh, I have to call the exterminator and pay $1,000 because the roach was on the floor. No. So the pranks are gonna help test your partner's uh, reaction rate and how they will uh, respond to certain situations. That's good, and I really want y'all to think about that one because that's actually quite genius. I just came up with that. The final one, how to date, how to date, and this kind of relates to what we said a little time ago, but somewhat different. And don't get too attached. Don't get too attached. You've got to think about this. Dating is not marriage. I mean, hopefully you're dating too, Mary. Hopefully you're not just fooling around being a dirty dog like uh, some people in certain films. Uh, Boomerang, Eddie Murphy, just fooling around. Dirty dog, don't just fool around. But, but don't get too attached in the, that dating stage because one person in the relationship, I don't care how much they tell you, girl, I love you, I care for you, I'm never going to leave you, I'll always be by your side. That dirty dog might be a phony Negro. So, what does that mean? Don't get too attached. You know, you can show your love, your appreciation, but don't get too attached. Like, oh, this is a forever thing. We've only been dating two, two, two months, three months. No, no, don't get that attached. You got you got time. Time is an effective way of seeing someone's trust, someone's integrity, uh, so, someone's someone's uh, reliability, someone's reliability. You you've got to display. Uh, that that time. So if you get too attached in the first few months, you you might you might okay. Now some some of y'all honest, loving, great out the gate first day. You know you want to marry and do all that stuff. Good for you. Good for you. But some of us need time to show us if I can trust this person or not. Hey, that's just logical. That's just logical. Even even with a new job, and don't go oh, the first day. I love this job, best job of my life. You give it some time. You start you start smelling your coworkers' breath. You start letting your boss yell at you enough. You're gonna be like, man, I hate this job. So those are the steps on how to date. Simple, effective, and hopefully you will apply these steps when you start dating so you can have a wonderful, thriving relationship because that's what Wani P in the last talk show wants for you. We want you to have a successful relationship. How to date. That's all for this how-to episode. Continue to subscribe. I can't do it without you. Continue to like, comment, all that good stuff. We're going to see you on the next episode. Until then, keep on rocking with me, baby. Keep on doing what you do. Thank you.